I'm Ken Anderson with ProFoam, and this is a water molecule. Now, water molecules are all around us. They're in the air, floating around. This is often called humidity. They're all over the place, just hanging out. Now, what does that have to do with spray foam? Let me explain. On our spray foam system, we have hoses that go from the transfer pumps over the machine on the A side and on the B side. We also have our spray hoses that come off the machine and go all the way out to our spray gun. One for the A side and one for the B side. Now, if you were to look at those hoses under a microscope, they'd look something like this. Now those small little pores in that hose are so small that the isocyanate and the resin molecules cannot get out. But these little water molecules are the smallest molecules that we know of. And they can penetrate through those little pores in the hose. Once they do, they get to the isocyanate that's inside the hose and they start reacting and creating a gel and creating crystals inside the system. If you catch it fairly early, it'll just be loading up your gun with little crystals. Really annoying. If you wait too long, they'll actually cause enough crystals to block your spray hose up solid. We don't want to let that happen. So what do we do? we got basically four choices. The first choice is spray some foam every week. Uh, 100 board feet of closed cell or three to four, 500 board feet of open cell. That's enough to get the old isocyanate out of the hose, make foam out of it, spray it away. Second choice is once a week, actually take the gun off the end of the hose, over a waste bucket, you open the manual valve for the A side and let the transfer pump push fresh fluid through the system, put about a gallon, gallon and a half into that waste bucket and get rid of it. Do that every week. That replaces the old partially reacted ISO that's in the hose with fresh ISO. Third option is to actually replace all the ISO that's in the system with a storage solvent. To do that, first you'll need to flush out the ISO with a flushing solvent. So we'll put our transfer pump into a solvent bucket with about three or four gallons of the correct solvent to do the job. Let the transfer pump push that through into the waste bucket until it runs clear. Then take the end of the hose back into this bucket and let the transfer pump cycle it back and forth through the system for at least four hours. Wait overnight, let it sit in the system overnight, come back the next day, flush it and circulate it through for another hour. Once that's done, you'll go to the storage solution and push the flushing solution out of the system with the storage solution. Then you should be good for up to two years. The fourth option which is what most people seem to default to when they let their rig sit too long, they just don't do anything. Then the hose loads up and you're gonna end up replacing all that spray hose and your A-side transfer pump hose. It's the least desirable and most expensive. So let's pick one of those other three depending on how long it's gonna sit and what you wanna do with your rig. Call ProFoam, we've got the correct chemicals to purge the system out and the process to do it. Let us know, we can help you out. I'm Ken Anderson with ProFoam. Thanks for watching.